That's a hint right there when they don't even have no song. Sing, singing before you get up here. That means like, good night. You never going to shut up. Uh, but uh, it's good to be here tonight. Thank the Lord for hearing that good report about that young man being saved last night. Uh, and it's a good crowd to have here on Saturday night uh, and in church. You know, the world, they don't even, the, the, like the news media in the world, they don't even know this exists. They really don't. They have no idea. When they, when they think church, they think of the, the Pope and the Catholic Church. And stuff. They don't even know we exist. And we don't, we don't really care they exist. It's mutual. Uh, but uh, thank the Lord for being in church here on Saturday night and knowing where we're going when we leave this old world. If you know you're saved tonight, you know more than 95% of the people in this world. Amen. You better thank the Lord for it. Right. You better not take for granted what, what we've got here That's in a Bible-believing church. Amen. Prayers go for our Pastor Bill over across the state tonight in the hospital. Uh, we, we want him to know we love him, praying Amen. for him uh, this evening. And uh, we're, we're really looking forward to it, uh, what the Lord's going to do. Now, I want to mention now, tomorrow morning... Uh, don't want to miss Sunday school yeah. and Amen. then the preaching service at 11, I reckon, right? Yes, uh, yes, I'm going to be uh, dealing with this war, uh, Israel-Palestinian conflict Amen. and what they're fighting over and what does this mean to us, for us? I mean, Amen. what does this mean for us? What, do, what does that stand biblically right. in the Bible? Yeah. Where does it fit in Bible prophecy? And... Uh, uh, how, how should be our views yeah. about uh, the Israeli uh, war going on over there tonight. Yeah. Now, y'all, uh, there's some bad, bad things happening in this world. Amen. Right. Amen. I, I, I can't believe, all, all you got to do is look and see who, the, who the, uh, the mainstream colleges and universities, uh, the way they feel about something, That's right. and believe the very opposite. Yeah. And you'll be right every time. Right, and they, they love China, you know. China, our good friends from China have sent three things here to destroy our country. Number one, the Wuhan flu uh, back in 2020. Uh, that, all that was no accident. Number two, fentanyl. You know, that's coming from China, comes across, and it comes across the Mexican border up into our country, and 11 people an hour are dying yeah. from overdoses in this country tonight. That's right. So they give us Wuhan flu to hit us financially, fentanyl to kill all the young people, and TikTok to finish off all the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're so ignorant, yeah. they just sit there and watch it half the night long. And the more you watch it, the more ignorant you get. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. It's true. I mean, don't get mad at me. You just get dumber and dumber and dumber. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's entertaining. It's entertaining. All that comes from China. Did you know in China, kids are not allowed to watch TikTok? How about that? They have a whole different version of it. Right. Americans are the only ones stupid enough That's to right. let their kids do it. Now, if you don't like that, you're going to like it a lot less here in just a minute. Yeah. So, I mean, what do you want a preacher coming all the way down to North Carolina to do? Come down here and brag on you and tell you how great you are? No, no, a preacher's supposed to preach. A preacher's supposed to tell you where you're wrong. Amen. And it might stay. I mean, when you go to the doctor, uh, what do you want him to give you? A milkshake? You know, a Pepsi? No, you say, give me some medicine, man. Help me. I've got I'm sick. And our country's sick tonight. We got the medicine. And so I, I, done, I done lost part of you, but uh, maybe you jump back on here a minute. Uh, get back on board with us this evening. Uh, so don't miss tomorrow morning. You don't want to miss that. Appreciate it. Good to see Brother Ken and his wife come down from Sarasota, be with us, and other folks from different places. Uh, we're glad that you're here tonight. Yeah. Now, because of the nature of the message tonight, I'm going to ask you to turn to two places of Scripture. The first one would be Daniel chapter number 2. Daniel chapter number 2. Back there in the Old Testament, the prophet Daniel, as he... As he um, we write in 700 B.C., thereabout, and the prophet Daniel began to write about kingdoms that would rule this world. 
And the prophet Daniel saw them, and he said, he saw this great big image, and it had a head of gold, and then it went down to uh, silver and brass and iron all, as it went down. Yeah. Yeah. The, the further it went down, the less valuable the metal was. Right. Right. Start out with this head of gold. Yeah. And he told King Nebuchadnezzar, Thou art this head of gold. Right. He said, After you is going to be another kingdom. After you is going to be another kingdom. After you is going to be another kingdom. And it's on down to where we are right now. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, what I'm going to read to you tonight is prophetic in that it's going to come to pass. Uh, thank you very much, uh, sir. Appreciate that. And uh, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it to you and tell you and then preach what I'm going to preach tonight. You've got, you got to pay attention to this part right here now. Look at Daniel chapter 2 and verse number, oh, let's see here, uh, uh, 39. And after thee shall arise another kingdom inferior to thee and another third kingdom of brass which shall bear rule over all the earth. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. Remember that word. For as much as iron breaketh in pieces, <coughs> excuse me, and subdueth all things, and iron breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, yeah. the kingdom shall be divided, right. but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with clay. Now stop right there just a second. He says you got a gold head, yeah. you got silver shoulders and chest, and, and then brass, and then on down to iron, and you got ten toes on this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now these ten toes, by most Bible prophet, prophecy preachers, represent ten demoniac kings right, yeah. that will rule this world one day with the Antichrist. Yeah. The Antichrist is coming. Y'all know that, right? Yeah, yeah. This world's getting ready. The stage is being set right now yeah. for the Antichrist. You want me to tell you what's going to happen? We're headed right now to a one world government a one world monetary system, right. a one world religion, and a one world dictator. Right. You're right. That's the only way they can have peace. Right. And when he comes, he'll give that false peace. Yeah. Bring everybody together. Did you know that your money right now in your pocket is not secure? Right. You know, the bank, how many, how many people talked to lately said, man, I went down to the bank and I, I, wanted to, well, I was going to do some work on my house and, and I, I wanted to withdraw $10,000 and they wouldn't let me have it. That's right. $10,000. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a lot of money for a bank. That's and right. they didn't have it. Right. And if you, if you were to withdraw forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 to go buy something or, or spread out and do work with it, they, they'd make you wait a week before they can get it. Yeah. Yeah. If everybody in here tonight went down to the bank and said, I don't want my money, they'd laugh at us. Yeah. Yeah. They ain't got it. Right. Right. And their new monetary system is being rolled out right now. Digital currency. Right. Bitcoin. You've heard of that. Yeah. Right. And you notice now that there's so many places that won't take cash. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Uh, it's getting less and less. I, I somewhere, well, when I played yesterday, and I was, I was dying for a bottle of water, and a, a, a lesbian was sitting right beside me, and I, I tried to witness to her, and she wouldn't even take a track. And I was trying to be nice and be sweet, like I always am. And 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 but I was gonna give her the truth. And I really I was. And uh, I, I had some I had some chips and stuff. And I wanted a bottle of water. And I said, "You got to pay for this." And they said, "Yeah." And they, they said, "You got to have a card." Money ain't no good. And did you know in some countries, you you just about don't even use money right, right. right now. Yeah, that's right. So like if I owed him a thousand dollars. I just say, pay me $1,000 and they just punch it in. It ain't no real money. It's just numbers on a computer. Now he's got a 1000 I don't have. And I give him another 1000 he's got two, and I've, I've got so, so much left. And eventually, all of our currency 
stuff will be done to what? That way they try, they stop drug deals out behind buildings, prostitution, stuff like that. That's, that's going to be their excuse. Yep. But the real excuse is the government cannot stand me and you making any money without getting their hands in it. They want their part of it and more. Amen. And I'm just an old redneck hitman from the mountains up in North Carolina. And I'm going to tell you something, brother. I don't think you ought to give them no count devils one dime that you don't absolutely have to. Amen. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. I mean, be honest. But Lord have mercy. They're taking our tax dollars and killing babies with them. We got a 93-year-old woman in our church. We got a 93-year-old young woman in our church who's worked her whole life entire life worked hard with her hands and she's 93 now she don't draw but about $1,100 a month and he has to pay $500 a month for her own medicine yeah. going for a dollar she couldn't live That's right. $500 a month out of her own money that she worked for her whole life yeah. and there's a 19 year old boy who lives right down the road who's changing himself into a girl and the government's paying for his medicine yeah. Yeah. so don't talk to me about who's crooked Hey, listen, buddy, you could, the mafia ain't as wicked as that outfit. And if you don't agree with that, you're about sick yourself, you know that? Amen, preacher. There's some people, we're, we're, we, we've been had, y'all, and they're, out, they're, they're not on our side. I hate to say that. Used to, you thought, well, all the government, you don't even feel like that no more. Now, listen, when that electronic money comes, your cash won't be no good. Right, right. I got mine buried out in the yard, preacher. <laughs> what are you going to do? You use it to line the drawers with in your, your kitchen. Yeah. That's what they did in Germany. Right. Yeah. When money failed in Germany, they, they made wallpaper out of it. Because yeah. right. it ain't worth nothing. You can't spend it. Right. And money will fail. Yeah. Let me tell you something about the United States, people. We've lived good a very long time. God's blessed this country for a long, long time. And somehow or another we got it in our head that it's just going to keep going on like it is. I'm telling you, God's going to drop the axe on this place. One of these days, I hate to be a prophet of gloom. I don't want to sound negative. But you cannot disrespect the Bible and God and live like this country and get away with it. It's not going to happen. He's going to drop the axe on us. I hope you're ready to meet the Lord tonight. Amen. So these king, these ten kings here, I want you to look at them just a minute. Look at Daniel 2, 40, 42. Daniel 2, 42. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay. Yeah. What are we made out of? Clay. clay. What them toes made of? Iron. So, the last kingdom will, the people that are ruling it will be a mixture of iron and clay. That's machine and man. That's iron man. Isn't it weird? Is that not weird? That right now, it ain't, it ain't steel man. You know, it's iron man. A mixture of iron, he's iron, he's clay. You know what computer chips are made out of? Iron, metal. And right now, Elon Musk has got approved back three in June, I think it was, this summer, they are now already putting computer chips implanted in the brain. Yep. Yep. They're wirelessly hooked up. Uh, it, you know, it's already happened. Yep. It ain't coming. It's here. Yeah. It's not something down the road. It's being done right now. And, they're, and, and they're, they're, they're saying that what they're going to do, and the weird thing about this, Brother Stan, is, you know, the Antichrist comes, he's going to try to do just like Jesus. He's going to try to do exactly what Jesus did. And they're saying the first thing this is going to do is saying the blind will see and the deaf will hear and the lame will walk. It's like, God, hey, man, you, could, you can't make that stuff up. That's exactly what the Lord did. The blind see, the deaf hear, the lame walk. They've already had several that it's worked on. Somebody tell me about somebody last night. I forgot who it was. Uh, that can hear or, or, and see now that couldn't before they put that chip in their head. Now, when that chip hooked up the Internet, you have the Internet in your head. 
You think we got a bunch of perverts now? Yeah. Yeah. Son, you wait till they get hooked up the internet in your brain and you just take it and there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm going to show it to you. Yeah. Fasten your seat belts. Put your trays to the right and locked position. Yeah. Turn on, the captain turn off the no smoking sign. Uh, you better hang on for dear life. Might have a little turbulence here in a minute. Yeah. But we'll lay in after a while. Ain't never lost one yet. Amen. Amen. Now look. These toes, so they're part men and part machine, right. yeah. robots. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know, some of you scholars correct me on this. <laughs> Brother Bailiff, I mean, I mean I've, I've always thought that a demon had to have a, a person or a body. I mean, if they're a disembodied spirit, so if they can't get in a, if they can't get in a person, they go get an animal. Yeah. You know, when the man got the demons cast out in the Bible, they went to yeah. pigs. But, they run off down a big hill and commit hogicide. Right. Yeah. And, and, they, and they, uh, the, the devil's first choice, that's a thought, you know it. Yeah. That's a thought, people. Yeah. Yeah. People in Fort Myers got something living in them that would make a pig commit suicide. Yeah. 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 Pig puke pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm, but make a pig kill itself? Mm. You say, work to make a pig kill? TikTok. That's right. Uh, uh, listen, there ain't no telling what was going on inside that man's head. Right. Right. So if it, you can think it and log in, yeah. you can also speak any language. Yeah. Yeah. Just download it in your brain. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Pass the test. Know everything in the dictionary. This whole world is fixing to change big time. Right. Very, very, very soon. And we here at New Testament Baptist Church are on the cutting edge of technology uh, letting you folks know the sinister plan of the devil and all this. So I don't know if a, if a machine, I don't know if a machine could be possessed, but if a man has a machine in him and then a demon possesses him, you got, you got a monster to deal with, son. Yeah. Now, you know, I read over in Ezekiel chapter 1, said that thing up there, them wheels turn around, yeah. and it said the spirit was in them wheels. Right. Yeah. That wasn't a person. Right. There was a spirit in them wheels. So, so, I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. But I know one thing, buddy. These guys, they're, they're, all the movies that Hollywood puts out, the zombies, yeah. the, the people walking around, you know, the, the iron soldiers, that you can shoot them, they don't die. And you blow their head off and they pop back up, you know, and, and all that stuff. I mean, that stuff's going to happen. Right, yeah. Hollywood just showing you what's going to happen. Right. Uh, so you'll just think it's fiction. Yeah. 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 So look at verse, look at chapter 2 and verse number 43. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, yeah. they, who's the they? Them ten toes that are high. Yeah high clay and high iron, shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. Yeah. There's old Genesis 6 all over again. Yeah. Yeah. Sons of God and daughters of men, brother. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's twilight. There's beauty in the beast. Right there in that verse of scripture. Yeah. There's all the, there's all the, Katy Perry, I'm in love with an alien, and he's alien blood, and he's of another world. All of that stuff is prep. It's prepping. You know what we're doing tonight? You know what the coronavirus done, brother? We're being conditioned. We're lab rats. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing we can do about it. They're experimenting on us uh, to see how far it'll go. And, and when they say, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. Uh, no, you're a nut. So if you don't believe there's conspiracy, you don't believe the Bible. It's in there several times. I don't believe there's a devil behind every tree. I don't. I ain't crazy. Yeah. Maybe 95% of them. Yeah. But I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but there are conspiracies yeah, right. right now yeah. in this world. And yeah. if you don't know that, you just, you just, you just blind. You ain't done your homework. Yeah. Right. Now, Revelation chapter 13. Yeah. We'll hurry there tonight, and I'll show you the video portion here. I'm going to show you here this evening and show you how, how messed up this thing is. Um, the Antichrist. In Revelation 13, yeah. not 12, 11, 14, 15. 13, and look at verse 13. 
Revelation 13, 13. It's Halloween, y'all. Here's your good one right here. 13, 13. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. That's what the Antichrist is going to do. He's going to say, what's this? Ha! Fire. Did you know they can already do that? Did you know the technology exists right now that you, you can put Michael Jackson right there and let him do a concert and you'd swear up and down it's really him? Yeah. Look up Project Bluebeam. Yeah. Right. Look it up when you get time. Project Bluebeam is able to project an image in the sky, a false second coming, yeah. a false rapture. Yeah. They, can take, they can take this man right here and re know his voice and make him, show him shooting, shooting somebody or something, oh, yeah. and it's not even really him. The technology is there right now. Right. And ladies and gentlemen, that when the Antichrist calls down by from heaven, and then he's going to say, look, the time for choice is gone. Yeah. We, you no longer have a choice. You take this chip in your right hand yeah. or in your head, or you don't do business. You don't buy. You don't sell. You don't do any kind of trade. You can't get gas. You can't get uh, laundry detergent. You can't get tires. You can't get your driver's license. You can't pay your bills. You can't get groceries. Eventually. Eventually. That's what it said. Look at Revelation 13 and look at verse number 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. I've heard people say the devil can't give life. He sure can. Yep. He's going to there. He's going to there. Yep. That the image of the beast should both speak. There's Michael Jackson on the stage. Yep. Elvis. Anybody else you want to see? Right. Yep. And cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. And he causeth all. Both small, great, rich, poor, free. Bond to receive a mark in, yeah. not on, right. Right. in, right. not on your hand, okay. in your hand, That's right. or in your head, right here. That's right. Yeah. And that no man might buy or sell, say the mark or the name of the beast or the number of the name, here's wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six. And that's why the rock groups are all hung up on that number 666. Right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, we are living, I, 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 I don't say the last days. We're living in the last hours. Right. 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 The last minutes. Yeah. Oh, you're just trying to scare people. No, I'm back up everything I'm saying up here tonight. Yeah. I'm not making this stuff up. Right. I wish that things would be great and we'd have peace and I'd see my kids and grandkids grow up and we could all live happily ever after, but I'm afraid it ain't working out that way. Yeah, right. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it ain't coming. It's, it's, it's here. It's here. Yeah. Now, uh, in just a moment, I will get somebody to get those lights for me back yonder in a minute. Wait just a second before you do. And I'm going to show you tonight a little bit about what I've been talking about and then I want you to ask yourself this question. Are you, right there where you sit, ma'am, young lady, young, are you, right now where you sit, ready to meet the Lord? Yeah. If you're not, yeah. I wouldn't trade places with you for all the money in this world. Yeah, that's right, right. Somebody get those lights for me back yonder. Amen. Uh, if you would, I'd appreciate it. All right, we ready? Hold these just a second, brother. We're going to make sure we got a picture. Now, what you're going to see first here tonight is this chip in the head that I've been talking about so you wouldn't think I'm just some old crazy preacher trying to scare people, <coughs> being mean and judgmental and all, you know, crazy stuff people think. Right. All right, let's see. Uh, tonight, we'll look and we'll see how true is it. Now, what they'll say first is the reason we're doing this is to help people see and Paraplegic, well, which that's, that's fine, that's great. I mean, if I was, if I was crippled or something, I'd, I'd say, let's do it. I want all the help I can get. Yeah. 
but you, you see where that's going. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. see where it's going. Yeah. And that's my point here this evening. All right? All right, let's make sure we get sound. You can go ahead. And eventually millions of people could be using Neuralink devices to treat various medical conditions or injuries, and you would never be able to tell that they have the implant. This is a technology that will aspirationally help the paralyzed to walk and the blind to see. Isn't that something? How weird is that? Yeah. How weird is that? That it's just exactly what Jesus did when he came. And this isn't just one of Elon Musk's ILBCI, which means that it interfaces directly with the Interface means merge together. Yeah, it interfaces yeah. with your brain. Yeah. Brain matter through a physical connection. And that will allow their device to create a whole brain interface, reading and writing signals across the entire brain. This gives BCI the potential to solve any number of debilitating neurological issues, and it can open the interface between brain and machine. Hear that? Hear what it said? The Neuralink device. It will work between brain and machine. You know what that is? Iron and clay. Forming the interface between brain and machine. Iron and clay. With a Neuralink device, with a Neuralink device, that person could actually have better control over a smartphone than a person using their hands. He said you could actually have better control over the phone by just thinking it. Oh, Lord, man, God deliver us from that generation. Yeah. Might turn me up on this little mic just a little bit, brother. Listen, y'all, the Lord's coming back. The rapture could happen before I get through preaching here tonight. Are you ready? What if about 90% of the people in this room just vanished right now? You'd quit playing then, wouldn't you? You'd quit messing around then and saying, he has no business saying that. No preachers are mean. You'd say, preacher, tell me the truth. Tell me how I can meet God and be ready. Elon Musk said that he believes one of the first applications for Neuralink can be restoring sight to the blind. Even Iron Man. The army. Army's first air with Iron Man. Here we go. Mission to a tactical assault light operator suit which would provide superhuman abilities like night vision, enhanced strength, and protection from gunfire. Each suit would have an onboard computer. That oh, baby. Iron and clay. See him shooting him? Don't have no effect on him with bullets. Iron and clay. Now, meanwhile, over to church house. Yeah. This is an Easter service, people. People say, I don't believe God would let nothing happen as here in America. Yeah. We're good people. Oh, should not be in the morning. Yeah. But it's a miracle. Listen, God don't let this, this happen in America. He, he'd have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. Right, Amen? Yes, sir. Matter of fact, Jesus told him over there one time, he said if Sodom had heard the preaching y'all heard, yeah. they would have repented a long time ago. Right. My, 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 my. Out in Oklahoma, this is a Sunday morning Easter service. We're going to die young by case of it. Let's make the most of the night because we're going to die young. What in the world is that got to do with church? Easter Sunday. Talking about the resurrection and Jesus dying at 33 years of age. And you'll see they had a woman on the cross. You'll see fire come up like they're in hell, and it said, no, no, the dragon was an angel turned into a hustler, turned into a hustler. And almost bragging on the devil like he's cool, yeah. and his rappers are saying he was an angel, but he turned into a hustler. <laughs> see the cross back there behind that? Yeah. My, 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 my. That's church. That's not the Super Bowl halftime of the world. That's, they call that church, people. I'm not being mean. I'm not being dogmatic. I'm not being ugly. Listen, people. Well, we come to church to worship the Lord and to honor what's right. This is not supposed to be a rock concert in the house of God. Amen. Amen. Listen, you have to, listen, the Lord's coming back. That's He's right. not too happy about all this. That's right. See the woman on the cross? Lord have mercy. But look at here. In Hollywood, this old girl here, yeah. Kathy Griffin, gets her Grammy or gets her Emmy, 
And she says, a lot of people get up here and thank Jesus for this award. I want you to know that nobody had less to do with this than Jesus. Jesus didn't have nothing to do with this. I don't want nothing to do with him. And then finally she says, suck it, Jesus. This award is my God. You want to hear it? I want you to know that no one had less to do with this award than Jesus. <laughs> he didn't help me a bit. If it was up to him, Caesar Milan would be up here. So all I can say is, suck it, Jesus. This award is my God now. <laughs> no. My, 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 my. Take a little old, take a little old thing and say, hey, Jesus, this award is my God now. And the Lord just sitting up there in heaven, he's watching every bit of this. Yeah, yeah. So he keeps pulling back that bow and pulling back that bow and pulling back that bow. The son, when he lets go of that thing, I wouldn't want to be in front of that if I was you. If you're here tonight, don't you sit there and judge me. Don't you sit there and say, he didn't have no right. Don't you say, get that kind of smart aleck attitude. You better say, is what the man's saying right? Is what he's saying right? I need to get right with God. I need to get right with the Lord here tonight. Jesus is coming. The world's going to hell 90 miles an hour. Listen to it. Watch this. Boys, on, put this on YouTube. Burning the Bible. Jesus Christ, I hate you. Jesus Christ, I hate you. Not the Koran. No. Not some other book. Not the Muslim holy book. Just that book right there. You know what that means? The devil knows which one of them books is right. You've got the right book laid in your lap tonight. Why do they hate it? Why do they hate it? Like Dr. Ruckman used to say, he said they hate that book because it knows all about them and tells it. It'll read your thoughts, buddy. It'll read your mind. Lord have mercy. Look at here at the rock concerts. Marilyn Manson and his Antichrist superstar many years ago would dress up like a preacher, take the Bible behind the pulpit, wear a tie, and he'd act like he was puking, and then rip the pages out of the Bible and throw it to the mall. The Bible is doing that to y'all. Angels for the Lord have mercy. Look at here. Here he is bringing his pages out of the Bible and eating. Look at this. This just happened a few months ago. This summer, the largest gathering of Satanists in history. Up north, I think in Massachusetts, somewhere, Boston, up Baltimore, somewhere up there. And she takes the Bible. And look what they're doing is hell Satan. continue without fierce opposition, and we stand here today in defiance of their siege and destroy their symbols of oppression. Symbols of oppression. I'm saying hell Satan. Buddy, I wouldn't want to be in her shoes for all the money in Florida tonight. Listen, that girl will one day stand in front of God that wrote that book and give an account of what she just did in tonight. And we're living in a generation that's teaching kids that it's cool to love Satan. I'll show you that more of that in, in just a second. Watch this tonight. Cheering and applauding. The only book that can keep them out of hell. That is, if this. This year at school, already happened, it's in North Carolina. They have after school Satan clubs. And a temple has its way. After school Satan. See the devil there with the bad right eye? Amy Jeff. Watch Disney. I know we're in Florida. The sun would come a long way since old Yeller. Yeah, when we was growing up, if Disney put out something, you could pretty well let your kids watch it. Yeah. It was pretty trustworthy. Yeah, right. Now, it's become perverted. That's right. What's this Disney play Preach, teaching his kids to say, I love you, Satan, at a Christmas play? Disney. I love you, Satan. And then they act like it's a mistake. Oh, 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 you got it backwards. Switch around. It's Santa. Ha, 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 ha. 
You mean tell me that they couldn't have edited that? Yeah. You mean it was that live? No. That was put in there on purpose. Right. Amen, somebody brother. at Disney wants kids to love Satan. Some of you people think I'm overboard. You, you might need to get your head out of the sand. I'm telling you, I ain't scratching the surface. I can't even show you all the bad stuff. Lord, have mercy. I'm not trying to be self-righteous. I, I deserve to be in hell with my backbone. But I'm telling you the truth tonight, people. We are asking for the judgment of God on this country. This is what they're teaching kids. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Make it Santa. This school year. Evil God, he wants you to learn and question why. He wants you to have fun and be yourself. And by the way, there is no hell. That's what they're teaching kids. Go in there and try to have Bible study and see what happens. Listen to this song for kids to learn. Science is important so we understand the world. Satan looks for truth. Let's help him, boys and girls. Satan don't look for truth. Jesus said he's a liar and the father of it. I hope y'all are praying tonight when I can feel the devil fighting every, every word I'm saying up here tonight. He hates what I'm doing here. If it wasn't for the Holy Ghost holding him back, he'd drop a bomb on this place tonight. People, I'm telling you, if that, that would have been outlawed anywhere in America a hundred years ago. Let's help him, boys and girls. I thought you wasn't supposed to tell religion in school. They can say there ain't no hell, but we can't say there is one. You're right, brother. Satan's not an evil guy. He wants you to be yourself. He can try and change you. Be cool. I mean, if you're born this way, if you're black, white, or gay, that's what this is about. Everyone is different. And he said, you be this And Satan loves you just like you are. Listen, people, I don't hate nobody. I love everybody. But when I went to school, if you'd have come to school and told them you was a cat, you, you'd have had to go to the mental hospital. I'm not trying to be ugly. My heart breaks for people. And now we're the crazy ones because we don't go along with it. I'm not gaining too many fans here tonight, preacher. I know that. And, and I'm not, I didn't come all the way down here to run a popularity contest. I'm trying to tell y'all what's going on. Look at this. What is different with Satan? He'll always treat you equal, whether you're black, white, or gay. Insinuating God won't treat you equal. The church will be prejudiced against you if you're not black, white, or gay, or something that they agree with. Satan's not here in God. He wants you to share and to be kind. He wants you to have fun. Who's the spell? Halloween? Yeah. Watch this. Hell isn't real, little demon. Here's what's coming to this world. Yeah. Amen. Tsunami. Right. Right. Bible said on in the book of Revelation, there'll be a star fall from heaven. There'll be like a gigantic meteor going to hit the ocean and waves about 200 feet tall come across the state of Florida, brother. There wouldn't be nothing left. That's right. Right. Amen. You're right. And it's coming. Yeah. Eventually. The Lord's going to have the last word. We spit in God's face. We've left the church. We've laid the Bible down and made fun of it, of God's man. We picnicked on Sunday. We've liked not, not give God nothing. We've made fun of the church for years and years and years. And brother, one of these days, the Bible said, the cities of the nation will fall. That's what the Bible said over in the book of Revelation. It's coming, friend. It's coming destruction. The Bible said, the cities of the nation will fall. New York, Miami, Tampa, St. Petersburg, Dallas, Texas, Los Angeles. Oh, oh, listen, everybody you know is running. 
90 miles an hour, fall into a pit. There's the kids you go to school with. There's the kids you, 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 you eat lunch with. There's the people you live beside. Running, running. Don't even realize where they're going. Listen, I was on that road one day when I was 16, 17, 18, but I thank the Lord somebody got me to come to revival one night just like you're here tonight. Just like you're here tonight, young lady. Just like you're here tonight, young man. God wants to change your life here tonight. And you can leave here tonight knowing where you're going when you leave this world. This whole world's not important. This world's going to hell. Look where it's going tonight. You better find out where somebody's going before you follow them. Look at what they're, what they're doing tonight. Lord have mercy. Every moment a soul goes to hell. Where there is no water. Where there is no relief. Where there is no help. Where there is no... You say, preacher. Don't scare people. That ain't what the Bible says. If you're not scared of that, there's something wrong with you, girl. That's right. I got scared I was going to hell one day. Everybody believes in heaven. There's a hell. And there's only one way to miss it. Two thousand years ago. There was a man. This man looked out into the future in the year 2023 and saw you sitting in this church. And he struck out his hands like that and they beat nails in his hands. He did that for Marilyn Manson. He did that for Dolly Parton. He did that for all the football players. He did that for Taylor Swift. He did that for Michael Jordan. He did that for Hitler. He did that for Danny, and he did it for you. Will you let him save you tonight? One of these days, it's all going to matter, people. One of these days, nothing else. Nothing else will matter when that last day comes of your life. Come to him today. Make up your mind. I'm not going to let. I'm not going to let the devil take me to hell. Now, man, you know what a man told me? He said, "I don't believe in hell." And I said, well, listen, why did he do that? If there's no hell, why did he do that? Wouldn't he just said, okay, I'll teach you how to live and do whatever you want to do? He's paying the price. So you would not have to go to hell. Let's all stand, please. Every head bowed, give us that one light. Not them back there. Just this one light. Every head bowed here tonight. Every eye closed. I want to have ever how many Christians here tonight would meet me here in this altar and say, Preacher, I'm going to pray for my church. I'm going to pray for my family. Let's get in here tonight and let's pray. Let's let God do something. Come on, mamas. Come on, daddies. Come on, young people. Come on. Don't say no to God. The Lord ain't going to hurt you. You come on right now. They're coming. They're coming. That's right. Come on. Amen. Amen. Come on, young man. Hey, maybe you've never been to the altar in your life, and now's your time to do it right now. Right now is your time to do that. Come on, right now. Come on, young ladies. That's right. Come on, girls. They're coming over here. Here comes some more over here. They're coming over here. Amen. Amen. Come on, kids. Get in this altar tonight. You say, people say, I got scared. Y'all be scared. Y'all to be scared. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Let's get in this altar tonight, mamas. How about it, daddy? Come on. Come on. Let's move right now. Come on. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Somebody be here to pray with you. Somebody make sure all these kids get somebody to pray with them. Well, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Come on, boys. Amen. Somebody pray with these boys coming here. Amen. Amen. Come on right now. Come on, young people. Let's obey God. Come on. That's right, young man. Come on. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, big boys. Come on. Come on. Get down here tonight. Get your heart right with God. That's right. That's right. Come on. Come on. Let's obey the Lord here tonight. Listen, this thing's coming. Whether you believe it or not, it's coming. Whether you like it or not, it's coming. We are at the jumping off place, y'all. We're at the end, people. We're at the end. May God help us tonight. May God help us tonight. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on right now. Don't wait on somebody else. You come on right now.
Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Come on. Don't get up now and you get satisfied. No, you're right with the Lord. Bring you ladies right play these girls here. Let God speak your heart here tonight. Good man. You let God speak your heart here tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God. That's right. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Thank the Lord. Let's obey God here tonight. How about it, sir? You've been waiting a long time. You might die tonight. I don't know. You don't know. We're not promised another day. Amen. We're not promised another day, friend. If God's speaking to your heart here tonight, you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. You come on, come on right now. Come on, come on. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on right now, girl. Come on, young man. Young lady. Young man. You come tonight. Come on. Hey, man. Hallelujah. You know, one day you won't have this chance. You better get in while you can. You better get in while you can. Come on, right now. Others, others, way back down in the back, way back there on this side. Maybe you, your heart just about to beat out of your chest. You say, I ain't never heard nothing like that in my life. That's why the Lord brought you here tonight, so you could hear this. Do business with him. Will you come? Will you come right now? Will you come right now? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody will come with you if you'll come. Just step out of your seat right now. Amen. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. How about it, girl? How about it, young man? There ain't nothing worth going to hell for. There ain't nobody worth going to hell over. Come to Jesus while you can. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ while you have opportunity. Amen. Amen. Others, others, others need to come. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We're not going to have this change forever. Our time is short. You're not going to have this opportunity forever. You may never have it again. This may be the last service you're ever in. We don't know that. Get it right. Get it right, my friend. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. Some still praying. We're waiting on you. We're waiting on you. Amen. We're waiting on you this evening. We're waiting on you. God's speaking to your heart here tonight. You, the Lord's dealing with you. Now's your time to do business with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. God's not through here tonight. The Lord's not through here tonight. Amen. Thank the Lord. God may be speaking to you this evening. God may be speaking to you especially tonight. Nobody ever loved you like he did. Greater love hath no man than this. That a man lay down his life for his friend. Yeah. Listen, this old world, people, I, I'm, this old world is not your friend, y'all. That's right. It's not your friend. Jesus is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He's your best friend. I, I tell people that all the time. Jesus is your best friend. The devil's not a nice guy. The devil's not a, a friend of yours. Uh, Hollywood is not your friend. That's right. The stock market, the pol po politicians, they are not your friend. Amen. This old world is not even our home. Yeah. He's fixing to call us out of here. Amen. Get on fire for God now. Yeah. Get on fire for the Lord. Get in church like you never have before. Make up your mind tonight. Yeah. I'm coming tomorrow morning. I'm coming tomorrow night. I'm getting in this thing 100% because this all is going to matter one of these days. Right. And being ready to meet the Lord. 
Amen. We got some still praying tonight. Some still praying. We're going to talk about that war tomorrow morning over there in Israel tonight. <laughs> when, when stuff like this, when you see Jerusalem compassed with armies like that, I'm telling you people, uh, a, a blind man could see that. Let's get it right. God bless you. All right, you can get me those other lights back there now. Somebody can. And uh, the preacher's going to come. And he'll deal with whatever he needs to say here tonight. Just make sure you don't miss tomorrow morning. We're going to be having Sunday school. And we'll talk about the, the, the land over there. And then preaching, I'll be showing a video about that land and who owns it. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Did everybody do business with the Lord tonight? Amen. I feel like we ought to, I don't know, I almost feel like we ought to keep this going. Amen. I believe the Lord's dealing with hearts still here today. Amen. How many of you tonight would say, I know, no doubt about it, I know if I die tonight, I'm going to heaven. I know that, no doubt. How many would be honest and say, I'm not sure about that tonight. I'm just not sure. After what I've seen, after what's been said tonight, I want to make sure. Be honest now tonight. Be honest. This is your time would say, I, I'm not sure. Would you lift your hand up? Would you do that? Don't be afraid. Preston brought his friend tonight, Braylon. Stand up here tonight, Braylon. And uh, I talked with him a little bit before the service, but Braylon came forward tonight and trusted Christ as his Savior. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Look. He got in. Amen. He had guts enough to say, I, I, I want to get this right tonight. Amen. Look, this could have been your time tonight. I believe there's somebody here that's going to walk out not trusting Christ. Amen. And you don't want to do that. This is real, folks. This is real. Amen. I'll tell you what. A lot of times you come into a service, you won't see this happen like that. So you need to get in on it while God's moving like that. Yeah. Well, praise the Lord. And uh, what a powerful thing tonight. Aren't you glad when God moves and does a work like that in, in your heart? Man, praise the Lord. Braylon, did anybody else get saved tonight? Maybe somebody sat back there and prayed and asked the Lord Jesus to save them tonight. Maybe somebody did that. Maybe, maybe you didn't come forward. Did anybody do that tonight to ask Christ into their heart? Like to stand up and make that public? tonight? All right. Well, I'll tell you what, that's what it's all about right there, Amen. that young man right there, and uh, what Christ did for him on Calvary. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And of course, Seth, right back here, Amen. and uh, Seth got saved yeah. last night. What yeah. a blessing. And uh, we're going to talk to him a little bit about following the Lord and Believer's baptism. We'll talk to you a little bit about that, Braylon, too, all right? And uh, now, let me remind you this. All of our adult Sunday school classes are going to meet in the auditorium in the morning at 10 a.m. All right? Everybody get that? You're looking at me. <laughs> 10 a.m. Be here for Sunday school at 10 a.m. All of our adult classes are going to meet in here in the auditorium. And Brother Danny's going to be here, and he's going to have a, a uh, talk to us about what's going on uh, in the Middle East. And so what's happening over there, it'll be good. You don't want to miss it. Praise the Lord. How many of you glad you were here tonight? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. That's stirring. And listen, Christian, uh, we talk about this being for a lost person, but every Christian in here should have gotten right with God tonight. Yeah. Should have said, look, I'm tired of playing around. I'm tired of playing church. I want to get in on this and do something for the Lord while there's time. And uh, that's what we ought to be doing. All right. Well, praise the Lord. We're going to take a love offering. So... Let's have our men come, and uh, what a blessing. If the Lord blessed you tonight, you ought to give, amen? Give something to, to the Lord and, and to the work, and certainly, that Brother Danny, it would be appreciated if by him. But let's give tonight, and uh, we're going to take up this love offering. What a, what a blessing. Thank you, Brother Danny. Powerful, powerful. Good. Good.